Hello everybody. It's a family function get ready with me video today and uh, yeah getting ready for a family function can be quite tricky simply because you never really know what to wear and uh, you're going to meet a lot of people and you're kind of uh, gonna want to say hi to everyone. While it is crucial to look really beautiful you also have to make sure that you don't cross that fine line into going overboard you know then yeah there's going to be criticism which you want to avoid at all costs so uh, this is my trick to getting ready to a family function so if you want to get ready with me then continue watching so let's start with the body shop insta blur primer this stuff is amazing if you're somebody who has fine lines and pores and really make it a point to work it deep into your skin just so your pores are smoothed and your skin is ready for makeup. Next I'm going to use this Inveda BB cream. This stuff came in my Glamigo box and even though this is about a million shades lighter than my skin tone, it just works so well as soon as I've blended with my skin and this stuff is also very sheer coverage but now that my skin is feeling very healthy at the moment, I'm just going to work it into my skin with my fingers. Next I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Almond and one tip that I want to give you guys is this stuff dries really really fast so make sure to actually make it a point to blend it as soon as you've got it under your eyes and you also want to apply it if you have any blemishes. Now to set my BB cream and my concealer in place I'm using this Revlon Nearly Naked powder and I'm also going to make sure to apply it on my t-zone because that's where my skin generally gets oily especially you know when you're meeting a lot of people and if it is in an enclosed space you're definitely going to sweat. Next thing that I'm using is this Too Faced Cat Eye eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this bronzy deep brown shade called Leopard and apply it on my crease and on my outer corner. This creates a beautiful depth. Next, I'm going to take this sort of a pinky purpley color called Pussycat and apply it all over my lid and kind of blend it with the leopard. This creates the most kind of a natural uh, blended eye look. Next, I'm going to go back into the shade called Leopard and apply it on my lower lashes just to create a little bit of a smoky depth. Then I'm going to take this Maybelline The Colossal Liner and apply the thinnest possible line for me this gives insane precision because I'm going in for a really thin eyeliner but if you want to do a wing liner or even a thicker more pronounced kind of a liner this stuff is just amazing and the reason why I am going for a very thin liner is because I want to achieve a kind of a very natural glowy look and nothing too in your face kind. Next I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Kajal Mashik Coal Pencil and just very roughly apply it on my lower lashes. It is not too dark or black, it is just there, just a hint of it just to blend with the smokiness of the eyeshadow. To finish my eye look, I'm gonna use this Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Mascara and apply it both on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. I love this stuff because it gives volume, separation and length as well, does everything for me especially if it is uh, the mascara that is a little bit old like about a month old then you will see insane results with this and also because I'm feeling a little bit lazy and this is a fantastic hack if you're feeling like you don't want to fill in your eyebrows then whatever is left over on your mascara wand just gently very gently with the lightest of strokes run it through your eyebrows and it kind of does all the hard work for you. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one is a matte bronzer and it smells so chocolatey. So I'm just gonna work it just under my cheekbone and uh, bring it towards my temple and the reason why I love this not only does it give a little bit of contour and shape to your face but let's say a relative of yours hugs you you're gonna smell so chocolatey so for my blush I'm using this Maybelline one in the shade called uh, fresh coral and apply it on the tops of my cheek this one is such a natural blush and it gives a kind of like a fresh flush to your cheeks. 
Next, I'm gonna use the Revlon highlighter on the tops of my cheeks and also on my brow bone just to make sure to highlight them and make them pop and this also gives you that kind of like you're a glowing, glamorous, like a gorgeous person. And with whatever is left over on the brush, I'm also going to apply it on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. For my lipstick, I'm using this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Toasted Marshmallow. Now I'm using this because it kind of matches the outfit that I'm going with and also it smells exactly of toasted marshmallow like so yummy. I have kept a little bit of bindi because here in South India we do that whenever we wear a sari at least and that is my makeup complete. For my hair I'm using this Organica Organic by Nature Moroccan Oil Serum apply it all over my hair and give my hair a little bit of a comb. I'm gonna part my hair on the side and grab it all to the other side and uh, just roughly braid it into a, a basic three strand braid. Now I find this extremely practical and stylish. Not only does it keep your hair off your face but it also is a little bit stylish, wonky, not your average regular everyday braid on the back you know. And once I'm happy with the length, I'm just going to secure it with an elastic and also pull out some hair from the side and from the front just to frame my face because I feel like my face looks very weird without a bit of hair in the front. But yeah, that is my makeup and hair complete. And for my outfit, I have chosen to wear this kind of a Georgette orange and deep rosé sari. The reason for that is because it flows easy, it is easy to maintain while you're wearing it and all my earrings my bangles the ring on my finger everything is from Tamara a bangle store near my house That's it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. I've never really done a video like this before. So please comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you really liked it. And please subscribe if you're new here. And also don't forget to share this video with anybody you know because you would be making my day if you did that. And subscribe if you're new. And I love you guys so much. Bye!